Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and this is just going to be an information video that's just going to give you some advice and tips on what you should be doing if you are trying to get the resources particularly from the YouTube videos that teachers post online. So for example I've got my exam papers here the video walkthroughs which you can go through and you'll notice in the description there's a lot of value as well. So for example if you want to go to particular questions you can jump straight to the bookmark of that particular question. But a lot of people want to go through the actual exam paper while they are watching the video. So how do we get the actual files. Now if you go further down you'll notice that there should be links to those particular files. There's also links to the other videos but links to the other files is very important. So if I click on a link for example, it's, if I click on that link I'll go to a Dropbox account. You don't need to have an account to be able to access them. You can get them free but you can get the memos, you can get the data files and you can just click on that download button. This is only if you want to sign in. We don't have to for these videos. We've made them public. So and you'll notice that it started to download in the bottom corner into a zip file. And so if I open that zip file, once it's finished downloaded, you'll notice that it's now finished downloaded. So now I can click on this part here and just open it, or you can go to the actual folder if you want to move it to somewhere else. But let's just open that particular zip file and you'll see that it's open almost like a folder. So if we want to access these files, we can extract them to a particular folder so that we can then open the documents and the Excel spreadsheets and the databases and actually use them and make changes to them. So just remember, once you download them, make sure that you go and you extract the data, extract it out of the zip file, and then you can start using those files. Now another way to access files is through a Google Drive. Thanks to Claire for sharing these files with me. And we want to access these files. Now be very careful, especially with Excel files and Word document files. If you're doing a practical and you get them from a Google Drive, you might be tempted to double click on the folder to go see what the files are. And we can see a whole list of the files there. And if you start double clicking on these files, it will actually open them up in Google Drive. So if I click on pyramids.docx, it actually opens them up in Google Docs. And you have to request access. You won't be able to change things and Google Docs doesn't have all the features that you might need from a Word document. So my suggestion is don't double click on the actual files, rather do something very similar to what we did with Dropbox. Go back to the original folder where you can see all the files. There I can see I want all of those and you click on that arrow over there and you download them into a zip file. So what it'll start doing is preparing a zip file and once you see the green tick then you know it'll start downloading. There's the green tick, so we know that it's finished zipped. Now it's going to start downloading the file. You'll notice it appear over here somewhere. There we go. There's the files, but it's downloading, and there it's done. So now I can do exactly the same thing where I open that particular zip file, and there I can see the P1 file, and if I open it, I can see all the files that I need, including the folders, and I can extract all there as well. So if I click on Extract, I can specify where I want to save those particular files. Just select a folder, extract them, I'll be able to access them and edit them and practice on them for the exams. So hopefully this has helped you be able to access those files. All those files can be accessed from the video descriptions, from the videos, from our YouTube channel. Make sure you click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.